Okay, so real quick, I'm gonna jump into Capture One so I can show you how to add a watermark to your image. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is come over here to the Exports tab or the Processes tab. You can see that we already have preloaded presets here um, that were created by Capture One, of course. Uh, so I just choose one. Let's just go for Instagram Optimize. It's already sitting right there. So the next tab down is gonna be the Process Recipes here. Um, you just wanna click on Watermark over here. And the first one I wanna show you is how to add a text watermark. So when you click on text here, it says text, of course, and you can add any text that you want to add. So for now, I'm just going to add my website. And then click enter, of course, and you can see that it automatically pops up right here. And the thing about Capture One, whichever recipe you're on, it automatically gives you a preview of that particular recipe on all of the images you have over here in your session. So here, I want to ha I have my website. I can resize that if I wanted to. I can also move it up, down, side to side. I can use the hand tool to do that if I wanted to as well. And then I can also change the font. So let's say I wanted to change that font to the font I always use for my brand, which is Morgan Knight here. And book. There we go. Really small over there. You can see it's small right there. You get the point okay so let's say i want to go to and change it up make it an image uh, watermark so here just change that to image and then where it says file you can click on this and locate your file so i have mine right here already loaded for you so once again we can scale that to make it larger and then change the opacity so normally i keep the opacity low because um, normally the only time i'm wide on marking my images is to uh send these to a client after we get done with a session so that's it